What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. So, somebody want me to check this out. You've been using your freezer wrong this whole time. You know, we, we know those type of videos. So, um, let's check this one out. This is from Mashed. No potatoes. And, uh, yeah. This came out this, th actually, this just came out yesterday. So, let's go ahead and check it on out, shall we? In about a three, two, one. The freezer undoubtedly makes life easier, but there's a good chance you're not freezing your food properly. Almost no oh, one no. does. If you want to eliminate waste and make the most of your frozen goods, here that are the common good. mistakes you should be aware of. The whole point of freezing food is to eat it later. If you forget what's in there, the food will most likely wind up getting tossed out. So you don't waste food and money, keep a freezer inventory. Write down what items you have and the date they were frozen. Your inventory not only helps you keep track, but it will also help you when it's time to clean out the freezer. Place your inventory on the refrigerator with a magnet so it's right there for easy reference. Or you can make a note on your phone, create a spreadsheet on your computer, or use an app. Also, label everything. Take a permanent marker and write what the item is, the date, and reheating instructions if necessary directly on the container itself or on a piece of tape. Your inventory can also help you not cram your freezer too full of food. Yep, a freezer should be kept nice and tidy like a spice rack. It allows for air to circulate throughout the unit and makes it easier to find what you're that looking looks nice. for. Try yeah. to keep the items you're most likely to use in the front so they're more readily accessible. You also don't want to pack too little. Each time you open the freezer, warm air enters. The freezer expends a lot of energy trying to cool down that warm air. Keeping a good amount of frozen food in there helps keep it cold. Everything you put into the freezer will keep for different what lengths of boy time. Not just dunk. Bags of frozen vegetables, for example, are good for about a year, except for green beans, which should be eaten within eight months. Butter will also last for a year, but milk should be consumed within three months. Fruit is another food that can last a year, unless the package is open, in which case it should be eaten within eight months. Frozen meat can be a bit tricky. Bacon, sausage, ham, and hot dogs can last about one or two months. Beef Uncooked ranks. roasts or steaks, on the other hand, can last anywhere from four to 12 months. Cooked poultry should be eaten oh, within four good. months, while uncooked can go for a year. That's All a other thick cooked ass meats turkey eat within around three months. Fish is a little bit different though. Lean fish can last up to six months, but anything fatty or in the shellfish category <laughs> has a freezer lifespan Fanny. of only a couple Red months. Lobster. As for leftovers, it's best to eat them within My three months. Watcher. Imagine you just finished making a big pot of soup you intend to last for a while. You divide it out among containers to pack it in the freezer. But hold on, you've got to <coughs> let the soup Excuse cool me. first. Putting hot food in the freezer can cause other food items to partially thaw, which will affect its quality. To cool your food quickly, put it in an ice bath or put it in the refrigerator for a while. Yep, I do that. You want to get your perishables eight. cooled within two hours, or the put food has the potential to grow bacteria. You should also check the temperature of your freezer. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, a freezer should be kept at zero degrees Fahrenheit for long-term storage. It's important oh, to maintain shit. the proper temperature because failure to do so will cause food to spoil. Opening the door too often can lead to temperature variations. So if you find that your kitchen freezer is opened as frequently as the fridge, it may be a good idea to get a second freezer to serve as long-term storage. One caution, the USDA says frozen food for the long term should be kept in a deep freeze at zero degrees, not your kitchen freezer where the door opens Damn. five times a day. We need to get a fucking Before freezer Before you in. store your food, make sure your container is freezer friendly. Flimsy wraps and thin sandwich bags won't stand a chance against freezer burn. Use containers that can lock in the moisture of the food. Strong plastic wrap is ideal for solid foods like cuts of meat and bread, while Potato resealable patties, plastic yeah. containers work well for short-term storage. Zipper bags are great for everything from veggies to prepped smoothie mixes to soups. For longer storage, glass containers work well, but the food must be packed that. properly to prevent cracking. Leave some headroom in the container and cool it before freezing. No matter how good you are at taking the air out of these units, mm -hmm. you gotta make sure that there's enough space so that the expansion doesn't bust open your container. Also, don't freeze food in clumps because you'll have to defrost in clumps. 
Clops. According to Bon Appetit, meat should be wrapped into individual oh, portions that's so it doesn't damn all stick Square together. Patties. Freeze fruit and Who veggies on that? a baking sheet in a single layer to prevent it from freezing together. Then transfer it to an airtight bag. And you can use ice cube trays to freeze liquids or spreads. Wow. It's probably hard to believe, but there are some things like that video. simply should not go in the freezer. For example, you can ruin the texture of sour cream and yogurt because they'll separate into liquid and fat. Some cheeses will also get a weird texture if frozen. Freezing greens causes them to wilt and lose flavor. It's best to keep potatoes and any other fresh fruits and veggies with a high water content out of the freezer, unless you like them mushy. Two things you absolutely can't freeze are raw eggs and canned food. When raw eggs are placed in the freezer, the liquid expands, hardens, and cracks the shell. Canned oh, food shit. can swell when frozen, making it very difficult to tell if it's still good or not, and it doesn't need the freezer anyway. According to USDA guidelines, it's safe to refreeze food that was thawed out properly in the refrigerator, but that doesn't mean you should. Bon Appetit warns that food experts believe that once something has been frozen and thawed, it should never be refrozen. When food is thawed and heated, it introduces more bacteria into the food, which won't be killed just because it gets refrozen. Cooking kills bacteria, but bacteria will actually still live in the freezer. Refrozen food also becomes incredibly mushy because the water content has expanded. And if a food item was not thawed out properly or not cooked fully, it should never be refrozen. Check out one of our new- Well, y'all, the more you learn, the more you know. Listen, this is a cool little video. And uh, yeah, you guys should take these tips as well as I am. Um, take me as I am. Come on, Mary J. Blige. But yeah, you guys, it's definitely though, don't refreeze frozen food that you probably put in the microwave or whatever or cooked and all that because that just wouldn't make any sense and I think and that, that that just even sounds gross as it is so just, just get you some new frozen meat or whatever whatever you like you know what I'm saying um veggies fruits all that and uh don't hoard your fridge because I've seen a lot of refrigerators that's hoarded with damn food and it's like how do you even know what's good in there how do how, how, how are you gonna get what you're gonna cook today clean that shit out but anyway, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below. Um, some more like videos like these, oh, you've been cooking this wrong, or you've been organizing this wrong, or fixing this wrong, or you've been cleaning your ass wrong, you know, something like that. Let me, send me some more of these type of videos in the comment section, as well as anything else. Hit that subscribe, wow, wow. <laughs> subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in a minute. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.